this is Jeff with the Co-Engineer Tech Support. Uh, in this video I'm going to outline the requirements for clips that are used in electrical routing. Uh, so in this uh, a little example assembly here we just have a, a basic routing component that's routed through a clip and so if we open up this uh, uh, clip that comes with SOLIDWORKS you'll we'll get a better idea of the requirements for your custom clips to be able to be used with SOLIDWORKS electrical routing. So the first requirements are the routing points. You'll need at least two of those and those are used to define the entry and exit points for using uh, auto route when dragging and dropping uh, clips to routes. Our second requirement is going to be the clip axis which goes between the two routing points and this defines uh, defines the center line of the route and is used um, if we toggle back over to our assembly whenever you use the uh, route through clip option you're going to select that axis and it will route an existing route through a clip that you just added basically uh, so let's go back over to the clip here uh, optional things you can add to your clips are a axis of rotation. This is going to be used to orientate the route when you drag and drop it into it. So you could basically in this you could rotate it around this axis of rotation uh, to to help orientate that when you're placing it in. Another option is a filter sketch. You'll notice that this really doesn't need to be orientated with the direction of the route. It's used really just to define the size of it so that if you change the diameter of your route that the size of the component of your clip here will update automatically. So you can create configurations that SOLIDWORKS will automatically switch the create correct configuration uh, based on the size of the, the diameter of your route. So some requirements that you need to have in this filter sketch is the inner diameter and this specifies the smallest diameter for this bundle basically for this configuration. Uh, you'll see in this one we have 0.8 you'll have a nominal diameter and an outer diameter. The outer diameter is the largest diameter for the bundle to be used with this configuration. You also also notice that these configurations have to overlap in size basically. So the next larger configuration here, the inner diameter must be less than the outer diameter of the smaller configuration. So that as as you switch these sizes um of the diameter of the route, SOLIDWORKS can identify the correct configuration and have the route or the clip automatically update to the correct corresponding configuration. So those are the basic requirements when creating your custom clips. Um, also when you do create those you'll most likely want to use the routing library manager and the routing component wizard. This will help you make sure that you have all those requirements, you know, that you're not missing uh, routing points and clip access. Um, so you can use this uh, wizard here, very helpful, especially if you download clips off of, you know, the internet, off of forums, basically, you know, it's you want to use this wizard to make sure that it's meeting all the requirements and it makes it quick and easy to add any missing requirements to your clips. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.